Hey guys, this is Rob John Webb here for Waxadisc and what I've got for you today is a little tutorial showing you a really cool synth brass sound, um, completely free. And it's from the Together Audio Cheese Machine 2. Now I did a video on this over a year ago now, um, just going through the presets, I didn't do anything specific. Um, but today I thought I would do uh, a video um, creating a little demo just to show you how quick and easy it is to make some kind of future disco, synth boogie kind of you know modern new disco sort of thing so the sound in itself is called Isabira JX Brass and it goes like this it's got a really nice sort of wow wow sort of feel to it it's absolutely really cool and it's like this it's got the modulation as well you can modulate which is nice so yeah that's that really sort of rich texture to it which is um, you know something that's quite Difficult to get in a lot of brass sounds. You get a lot of brass sounds and they kind of just don't quite hit the spot. But this one does. So I've not done anything to it. I've not touched any of the effects. Obviously you could put some phaser on it, but that takes away the... That kicks there, look. It takes away the, 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 the depth to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play and then I'm going to just whack a couple of chords in and then show you how it's done. Here goes. And there we go. A simple chord pattern. I'm just going to quantize that. There you go. Put some reverb on it. There you go. And then obviously you want to develop that and put a bass line on top of that. So duplicate the synth. Get another instance of um, Together Audio up, the cheese machine. And then go into the basses this time and choose the Oasis Res Bass. Now obviously go to the filter, change on the change to the filter dial on the envelope lot. And then um, just change that to that, sorry. And make the cutoff kind of more squelchy and then... So you could have a bass line coming in like that. I've stuck a compressor on this earlier because it wasn't loud enough just for the purposes of this. And let's just do that. Let's just play this and then put in a bass line. There you go. Bass line just using the root notes of the uh, chords because I've done a few slash chords. So it goes like this. There you go. And then obviously duplicate that again. And then this time, um, just change the color for the sake of it. This time, turn, turn up the delay. Keep the same bass sound, right? So you're going to keep the Oasis res, but you're going to go up the octaves on your keyboard. And you're going to add a little bit of modulation. Um, and then it's going to go like this. It's going to have the delay on it, obviously. But you're going to be... You're going to use it as a lead line on top of the bass line. So you're going to have the same sound, but as a lead line higher up the, up the, um, up the keyboard. Here goes. There you go that's a very quick tip um, on how to use one synth and get the best out of it using a brilliant brass sound and the bass sound in two different um, variations high and low so go ahead check out the cheese machine grab it it's completely free don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll catch you soon